आई थिंक हमारी वो कंडीशनिंग हैज हैपन इन सच इन सच अ वे दैट वी एज वीमेन वी फोगेट टू क्वेश्चन वी देर आर सो मेनी रिचुअल्स एंड कस्टम्स एट हैपन टिल डेट एंड वेन आई आज द पीपल दैट वाई डू वी डू दिस पीपल डोंट नो पीपल जस्ट ब्लाइंडली फॉलो बिकॉज इट वॉज सेड बिकॉज इट वॉज टोल्ड आई थिंक us as characters and even as actors we question that and i would like to believe that is why a change is happening in the system and this change is not just on screen it is in uh, might be be it now is officers or be the ceos that power equation is changing because when the change happens then there are waves that are felt throughout so i'm very proud of this uh, sisterhood which is right here and which is uh, which is you know happening in small and huge waves across the globe thank you so much for speaking to gulf news all you feisty women of mirzapur i know it's a testosterone uh, show but i love the women i think women make this show tick you guys are the power brokers and crazy manipulators might i add uh, mm-hmm. was that what kind of like drew you i mean i think it's one of the series that evolved the first season i wasn't very impressed by the women second and third it, i'm sure it gets better right so perhaps rasika you can go with it like you shocked me in many ways <laughs> 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 I think I shocked myself too and I think they shocked me by casting me in this part I was quite convinced that I'd go for one rehearsal and they'll say no no we we've changed my our mind we want to cast somebody else <laughs> but I was very grateful for this uh, out of the box thinking I've totally enjoyed uh, playing Veena Tripathi in season 1 as well because I really feel like that was the those were the uh, times before uh, she gets into a uh, a sort of revenge driven scenario in season 2 but season 1 was really about her um uh, uh you know exploring her sexuality and and just being the woman that she wants to be um and uh, really finding ways to navigate this very like you said testosterone driven house so uh, that's really what, so i was i was very joy, joyfully playing her in in season 1 and of course season 2 has all the dumb of her revenge all the force of her revenge where uh, uh, which which culminates into her uh, taking revenge for the way she was violated and humiliated by her father in law in mm. season 1 very nice very nice i mm-hmm. like that women in charge you have an angelic face and therefore <laughs> whenever you even wielded weapons we kind of like we were still rooting for you at all points i think that's uh, that's a goodwill that you should be proud about a pat on the back angelic face but sinister intent <laughs> I, they often come together you know <laughs> <laughs> i've noticed <laughs> i see what about you uh, ladies uh, shweta go for it and harshita yeah it was all in the writing so when i started reading the first episode of season 1 i fell in love with the characters and the world that was created and i knew that i want to be a part of this world because any character event situation that is written by this team will do justice to everybody uh yes i agree with you uh, that the way we, we, women were shown uh, the way women were treated and that thankfully has evolved and that is with our world as well i think hamari wo conditioning has has happened in such a uh, in such a way that we as women we forget to question we there are so many rituals and customs that happen till date and when i ask the people that why do we do this people don't know people just blindly follow because it was said because it was told i think um us as characters and even as actors we question that and i would like to believe that is why a change is happening in the system and this change is not just on screen it is in uh, might be be it now is officers or be the ceos that power equation is changing because when the change happens then there are waves that are felt throughout so i'm very proud of this uh, sisterhood which is right here and which is uh, which is you know happening in small and huge waves across the globe and that makes me very happy because when one of us wins then all of us win 
that's true you guys are the mirzapur's the angels these <laughs> angels we should oh yeah that's yeah. angel no for yeah. that somebody's been calling us the lomdi gang for some reason <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I like that too. We'll take that as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yes, really that's glad. very rustic. I like that. It keeps uh, with the tone of the show where it's set. Yes, I think that that'll be even. Harshita, what about you? Yeah. So I I think Kuro show uh, writing. You said obviously with with the seasons the women characters have also grown and evolved and and it's beautiful how the strength has come. in different ways through different women whether it's uh, golu whether it's uh, beena whether it's dimpy uh, whether it's any woman character and 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 whether it's like rasika's whole turmoil in the family where golu choosing violence dimpy not choosing violence and still showing strength so i think the strength has come in different ways which is really beautiful writing and uh, and they all stick to their choices and they all are so strong in their own ways um i think Kudos to the Lomdi Gang. Lomdi Gang for the win. <laughs> I love it. I think we have to put it on our T-shirts and walk around for sure. That's a great uh, idea. Uh, great. And uh, women, do you think while you were uh, reading the script, it's written by men? At any point, did you feel that a woman's voice was missing, or is gender not a uh, you know not a factor in when it comes to dialogues or perhaps script? This question is for 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 all of us. Yeah. No. Who? Yes. Let's go for it. Like. Who would you, uh, Rasika? Go for it. I feel. You... I I don't believe that, you know, and I do believe that we need to have representation off camera mm. also for women. But I have been, in my experience, very uh, pleasantly surprised by some of the sensitivity that many men around me have shown. Mm. I mean, Delhi Crime is uh, directed by a man, written and directed. The se- season one was written and directed by a man, and I thought it was just. very very sensitively done also i think puneet is really puneet krishna the writer of season 1 of mirzapur i thought that had, had understood this woman very well you know he was uh, uh, i mean you have this side where she is exploring her sexuality she is doing what she wants to do basically but there is a side uh, 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 where you see that she is being punished for that right which mm. is at the end of season 1 which is actually a very um, uh, and the show is not condoning that in any way the show is not uh, making that acceptable in any way because that i, I think would have been problematic yeah. but i thought he really written this uh, this woman so deliciously and deviously you know people uh, uh, tend to sort of uh, ascribe a lot of uh, compassion and a lot of uh, 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 moral uprightness uh, to women i don't know why mm-hmm. you know it's as if as if um, uh, Uh, that is, uh, the entire responsibility of compassion is is on women, and that I don't think is true. Women are fun; they can be devious, they can be um, wearing their sexuality on their sleeve, they can be all of that. And he had written in all of that, and I I was actually very moved by some uh, the way he had written some of the women characters in the show. Yeah, and I you agree that as well. Yeah, you are vulnerable. Correct. Absolutely right, and there is that that vulner vulnerability at every stage. You see that side, and I think that's true of any well written material. You know, you will see a vulnerable side to every character. You will uh, somewhere have the opportunity, if you wish to, to empathize with them or or sort of be in their shoes for a moment. Sorry, you right. were saying something. Yeah. That yeah. as women as well, it's okay to have desires, and that desire might be for power, for the throne, or maybe just. using the person as a puppet or for a physical desire as well it's all right but like rasika said that was somehow ye hamari uh, jo moral policing hoti hai ya phir hum you know wo white and black mein jo choose karna hota hai it's women who've been like agar aap maa ho ya behan ho then you're supposed to be a certain way like you know the good girl behavior which is uh, a lot of fun to break and uh, because i think uh, our uh, men in in the show made the show are literally true feminists so uh, mm. the the fact that the that equality that uh, rasika was talking about the entire responsibility of compassion is on uh, on a woman so i think they've really understood how to how to have women and men playing the parts to be equal in 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 terms of their emotions their desires uh, coming through the characters which is again brilliant writing so i think they've uh, they've really balanced it out right of course and if you look past the meaningless violence some may say of course uh, there's also characters who live in the gray there's no black and white in this show i mean i really don't know whether to like them dislike mm-hmm. them like loathe them even women i mean you guys are not very likable for i mean <laughs> 
I, I say that with great pride. Yeah. And that's right. I mean, you guys should be complex, right? It shouldn't be like, it's such a departure from the usual Hindi, uh, you know, uh, heroines that we look at. Either they are like in white kurtas, virginal. Mm. This thing on those lines, do you think that is what, inhabiting the greys is what drew you to this uh, series as well? Apart from the guns and the gore, of course, and the but lads. Aren't they all grey, like in real life also, I feel like. I mean, we can have shades, we can towards towards black or towards white, but I think all of us are grey. So, uh, playing that is also... I think, so yeah, we are pink, we are white and black, we are green, we are everything. Are and now, green. finally, it's time to accept that and to see that as well. We are reading different kind of books and we are not doing hiding and doing that. So, I think it's important to... Uh, stand up for things because all of us have that power. We also have, we all are a Kanya, a Veera, a Ma, a Rishika. We all have those archetypes within us. It is now depending on situation to situation or an event or a person that you just need to dial up or dial down. But that, uh, that control should be with you and not with anybody else. I think what I was really, really drawn to is something that I'm very drawn to in life also which is watching these women very uh, surreptitiously navigate a patriarchal mm. world. You know, sometimes there are some women who stand out against it and speak up against it and all of that. And there are some women who just quietly sort of mm. find their way around this. And I've seen several women do that. And I think a lot of women I grew up with, I think never had, um, had an articulation for their feminism, but they had a... a uh, desire to not follow the norm, and they didn't, you know. Mm. They probably didn't make a uh, make a statement about it because they didn't probably have access to that kind of uh, vocabulary or sort of understanding uh, themselves at that time, or sort of even having a community who would sort of support and encourage that. But uh, they always found their way, cleverly, intelligently, quietly, they navigated this patriarchal world and got what they wanted. And that I've always found very interesting. I mean, I wish we didn't have to do that. I wish yeah. we could just live and we didn't have to navigate it and negotiate it and all yes. of that. But it's also so interesting to see what all women did to do that. You know, I yeah. used to know this girl who, uh, a, a friend's sister who lived in Lucknow and I thought uh, that you know I've, I've lived in hostels and I live in Bombay and I am far more liberated than she is and I was completely wrong. She had this boyfriend and she would some, make excuses with her parents and go and have a good time with him more often than anybody knew. <laughs> you know? So I was just so impressed with that kind. She, she sort of find a way to do it. <laughs> so, the, so they can navigate it more, like you said, surreptitiously or in a more, what is the word, devious manner. They are quite devious, right? Even Bina Tripathi, for all you know, she's quite devious. She's uh, completely devious. I mean, yes. <laughs> I mean, seriously, all the men, she has them. Like at some point, she does control them, right? And, and not in the most obvious way. She, she plays them completely yeah. to her advantage. She's yeah. like a dictionary in deviousness, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> we should have that. We should have a Bina Tripathi's guide to like... That, that's a great idea, actually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Fifty so Shades of... A rule Bina. book. A rule book by Bina, of Bina Tripathi. <laughs> That is brilliant. I would buy it. Yeah, I would buy it too. No, no. I think all women need it. Is it really good? Like, is there like a cleansing thing that happens after you guys, um, uh, you know, film for Mirzapur? Because I was just thinking, <laughs> I watch it and I'm like, I, I, I have kids and I'm like, oh, swearing is so done. Like, I know your cuss words <laughs> well now. Thank you very much. You know, so uh, what do you guys do? Like to, un, you know, uh, is there something, some cathartic uh, process that you three women face? <laughs> no more guns. Let's talk in good language, no more, like, you know, no potty mouth more. <laughs> Those lines, is that a process? Actually, I don't think we as women in in the show, I don't think we are abusing much. Mm. Okay, so so who, by people who are potty mouth. True, but I think more than that, for me, the cleansing that I need to do and that I do is listening to a different playlist because my Golu playlist is full of mm, type of music and songs which really puts me in that state of mind so uh, it's very important for me 
that after I'm done with shoot, I listen to it's the time to disco <laughs> because I need to get out of that frame of mind. It's very important for me to wear my accessories, which I love because uh, when I'm shooting for Mirzapur and I'm being Golu, I just dress up like her as well. That I wear my denims and a shirt and that's about it. But I think it's very important to not lose sight of that line jahan pe aap kabdi 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 kar rahe ho with your character and you. So, uh, but these are the learnings that we have with time and with different projects. So, now I just try to be more careful. I try to be as goofy and be in my Disney world because that is the real me. And uh, But Golu definitely psychologically takes a toll because of what her journey has been. Yeah, she's disturbed. She's troubled as well. There's no doubt yeah. about it. Jessica, perhaps you could tell me, like, do you have a process? Like, how do you, un, you know, not become Veena Tripathi? How do you step out of that zone? <laughs> uh, I mean, I would love to be Veena Tripathi in life, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> every human somewhere is like, yeah, there could be a bit of Veena Tripathi in us. Uh, it's a little difficult to tell, honestly, with every part. There is no uh, space where I'm conscious of the fact that, oh, I'm there. Um, it, it, in the the shooting process is full of you know oh i hope i am there for me you know because i'm always feeling like i have to be at a certain place and i'm always feeling like i'm falling short of that and i need to be more involved in this and i could do something which was more like more interesting for the moment or or more true for the moment or to make something magical for the moment so i'm so preoccupied with all of that that i am not conscious of the fact ki what is uh, what is me what is uh, what is Bina, what is happening in between, where we met each other, where we didn't and all of that. It's all a little bit subliminal and a little subconscious, which is the beauty of it. Therefore, coming out of it is not something that I'm conscious of either, you know. Uh, okay. I'm sure there's something that I carry. Um, there's nothing that I've, that is physically uh, so distinct that I can, uh, I notice it. But uh, I do remember feeling sexier in season one <laughs> than I did otherwise in life. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you, were seductive. you had that seductive air about you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think generally playing her is um, uh, it has been good for my body image of myself. Oh, sure. <laughs> you know? mm. no, 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 we're with you. You yeah. are the perfect body community. We're with you. <laughs> no, <laughs> yes. How about you, Harshita? Like uh, oh. you are relatively. Uh, uh, yeah, fortunately or unfortunately, I've ha never had to like go away from my character or leave that behind because I actually take a lot of strength from my character, Dimpi, for my real life. So I have tried to hold on to it uh, for a much longer time so that I, I can be like her in terms of decision making because uh, she's very decisive. And uh, so, yeah, uh, maybe things might change in the subsequent seasons to come where I'll also have to be like, okay, if I you survive, if I survive, <laughs> for sure. The thing right? Uh, yeah. You never know if you guys will be around for long. Oh. <laughs> you have no <laughs> idea. Maybe one of us dies also. Yeah. How do you, how do you know? Don't say that. Don't say that. I all hope you'll survive somehow with injuries or, or you know, in a wheelchair, you are there still. <laughs> No, but more importantly, you know, this uh, series has taken, uh, the success of the series has taken everybody by surprise. It's lasted three seasons, not easy. I mean, Grey's Anatomy, there's 20 seasons of it. <laughs> Do you think Mirzapur has caught on? I mean, people criticize it for the senseless violence. There's a lot of gun. Are we glorifying violence? We have all of that chatter as well. But then there's the plot, which is like revetting. I mean, the power play and just, you know, obnoxious men fighting for power. And women as well in the mix. So why? what do you think is the lasting appeal behind it? Why do you think it's so popular? I think that it's a, it's a very interesting mix between snazziness, quirkiness and really putting it out there. Uh, it's com And combined with really solid writing work with your characters. Mm. Because otherwise it, you, it would not remain in people's hearts and heads for as long as it has mm. if you if you were not sort of uh, being with the characters in some way or the other whether you were liking them whether you were liking to dislike them whether you were loving them or not you know so i think that is the strength for the show and that was for me i think the most interesting thing about it when i read it i said there's a lot of fun in this but there is some solid work with these characters you know mm. they're just so well written and they're so well understood right. by the writer of course how about you two? I think we... Mm, oh, the oh. go for it. No, I think I, I feel like uh, uh, because when Mirzapur 1 came and you know it was just so... Uh, it blew so much. I feel what what 
might have really worked was uh, the fact that what happens with the with the with the pandas family or or, or even golu and sweety and stuff uh, is very relatable because it can happen you know in the next door and it's a simple family whereas i think that tripathi is also it because it's little less relatable when you see for the first time but when you see like two men two boys just becoming and entering that world that probably and and, and somebody coming home and uh, things going haywire can happen anywhere so i think that was probably the starting point of uh, people connecting with it in a very weird way and then of course the writing and uh, in terms of how the characters play out in the subsequent seasons is what has uh, kept people hooked on to it for 6 years now this yeah. is how much you uh, shweta i i think uh, because of the response that we keep getting from fans and from uh, the media as well i think one thing that has really 100% it's the writing and the characters we admire the west a lot and follow great content that is made over there also trends i think what really works for mirzapur is the desi flavor it has everything i i really say it's a family show for definitely 18 plus because there is so <laughs> many family show which part for 18 plus 18 plus, 18 plus. because it is it is about is loving your line. family Adults, or not yes, family of adults Yeah, up. because I while uh, we just did a uh, rewatch of season one and two, and there are so many lessons that you learn from all of the characters. You don't know what they are up to. You can't predict what they are going to do. You think वो ये करेंगे पर वो वो कर देते हैं. So I think you get to see a lot of uh, flavor within the show and within the characters, and uh, you're rooting for them. And like you said, that you don't know whether you like them. There is a person who is doing all the wrong things, but you are, you don't want any bad to happen to that person. And there might be a person who is doing yeah. the right thing, and you're like, "Arey, yar, isko hatao." So it's a mixed bag of uh, just beautiful people. Uh, some in uh, some in search for love, and some in search for power, and some in search of ande. <laughs> that is uh last question did you uh, just tell me whether you all question the motives of your character at any point and how did you uh, navigate that bump i think that uh, uh, i mean uh, it's an interesting challenge everything every time that happens right if you're not wired like the character you're playing it's a very beautiful exercise for a performer and when i read veena i was like i i don't know anything <laughs> no i have to really figure out how this person is functioning and that is uh, so interesting to do but once when you start working on a performance you realize how many different people live within you and you just don't practice that mm. that side of some sides of yourself you don't practice enough and therefore they might seem strange to you in the beginning but once you're there you're like yeah i could have been that mm. also mm. if i had chosen to be like this and i can still choose to be like this i can this this is not so strange this is another human being mm. and there is a little bit of that in me also so that's how you navigate the bump and i mean if you've lived life enough or even if you haven't if you have an imagination which is good enough you can get there very easily the more work i do the more i believe that you know and so right nice. nice i love it we are team bina <laughs> <laughs> yes shweta tell me shweta and harshita yes i think the motives keep changing with these characters i mean okay especially with golu's character because kal zinda honge ki nahi ye nahi pata so you, going you survival yeah for you yeah like... be, so, so that is the thing that pehli cheez is to survive and then it is that what do you do when you survive so motives are definitely very important but i think for golu and the headspace she is in you are just planning your next step and hoping to nail it you have definitely what about you harshita i mean as an actor i have definitely questioned uh, the character's motives and then gotten down to all the answers by discussing it with my director and the writer and then being non judgmental about it because then you mm. have to just like you have to be that person so you can't judge it you can't judge your character at all so yeah but definitely before that i need all my questions to be answered for sure <laughs> done uh, uh actually i was just thinking there's a dialogue there where bina is told you should always be at the bottom 
and not on top. <laughs> guys have really shown, you guys have shown that displayed women can be on top and they rule. So thank you so much for, you know, uh, entertaining us. It's been a pleasure watching you women shine in a very male-led uh, patriarchal world uh, um, that's in uh, Mirzapur. Breaking stereotypes <laughs> one day at a time. <laughs> one day at a time, one good role at a time. Thank you so much. Thank ladies. you, Manjusha. Thank you. Thank you.